Hey folks, today we're gonna to show you how simple and easy it is to change your gear lube on a Merc Cruiser stern drive. And this happens to be an Alpha model, but you can see the uh, stern drive is a little bit different than outboard. The stern drive actually has a lower unit, comes out of the back of the boat, and the engine sits inside the boat compartment. In this, you have a gear lube monitor, which allows you to monitor the gear lube in the lower unit. And you can see on the port side, the left side of, of the motor here, uh, Here's the monitor, it's full of oil, so you can see, do I have oil in the lower unit? Now to change that, it's a simple process. You need to take the bracket off, and then you need to remove the monitor bottle that has a gear lube in it. You wanna to check to make sure there's no water in the bottom of it. Uh, if there is, you certainly wanna contact a uh, authorized mercury dealer to figure that problem out. But it's simple as removing the bracket, taking the uh, gear lube monitor out of the bracket, and pouring the contents of the gear lube into a proper container. Then you'll put that back on. Then we'll go to the back of the boat, uh, change the position of the uh, stern drive, the lower unit, and drain the oil from that. Very, very easy to do and a simple process. Okay, we wanna get in here and, and remove the bracket. This happens to be 11 millimeter and a 14 millimeter on the bolts, so I'm gonna Loosen that up, remove it by my finger, and I want to place it in the tray here. Okay, should we change the socket. And then we'll remove the other one. You kind of want to take your time doing this so you don't have to worry about dropping it. We'll get this one off. Okay, once you get it here, you kind of want to keep your hand underneath it just to make sure everything is secure and it doesn't fall in the bolt. So slide that off the bolt. Okay, you can see the wires are connected here and we're also connected to the tube. Uh, that allows the oil to go back to the lower unit. And you can see there it is. Now we're going to take a peek at it. It's a proper level, it falls in between the lines and you always want to check this when it's cold to make sure there's no water in your gear lube. Uh, look at it there, everything looks good. So we're going to change that out. We'll drain this out of here. It's nice if you have an extra set of hands that you can do this. So you typically you want to loosen up the cap, kind of do this slowly. You don't want to spill oil into the bottom of your boat. All right, so we're going to set that up out of the way. And you can see the hose comes to the bottom of it along with uh, some wires. But we have enough space here, we can lean this out. And I'm going to tip this over and we'll drain the oil out of this monitor. We want to get all that oil out of there. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit farther, roll it around. That looks like we got it. So, a little bit in the bottom. Everything looks good. We're gonna put the cap back on it. And then that way we can kind of let it sit here before we put the bracket back on. Okay. Now's a good time to wipe everything down to get any additional oil residue that's on there, being that it's out of the bracket. I always like to make sure the equipment is clean so if you did have any oil leaks or any oil issues you would see that because you know you've cleaned the whole thing off before you added the additional oil back to the monitor so all right we'll get the bracket back on we're going to put this nut back in here kind of hold that in place kind of be careful so you don't drop it into the bottom of the boat we got everything in place, now we'll tighten that back up. All right, one thing that I like to do before we winterize the stern drive is I like to do a visual inspection over the entire motor to see where the seals are, look where the oil goes in, 
look where the uh, connecting points are. So there's no leaks or anything's been happening over the course of the summer. And you can see this one looks pretty clean. Uh, but I always do a visual inspection. Make sure you, you know what you're looking at because I'd like to do that over the course of the summer. But uh, then you can turn around and say, okay, I'm gonna change the oil on it. I'm gonna change the gear lube on it. And I'm gonna do the other things that are necessary to winterize this motor. And then you'll be good to go come next season when you take the boat out of storage and you get ready to go enjoy some time on the water. Before you change the lube on the lower unit, you wanna find where the two screws are. Up on top here is the oil vent that uh, allows the air to come out when you're adding the oil. And then also at the front of the bullet on the nose cone is the oil drain screw as well. You need to take the lower unit and trim it all the way up into the out position. This will allow the oil to drain completely out of the lower unit once you remove the oil vent plug as well as the drain plug. So what we're gonna do here is we will get the oil pan in the proper position. I'm gonna make sure the oil vent, okay, I'm just gonna have it snug so that keeps the oil from coming out. Then you can see here is the oil drain plug. And you wanna make sure you have a big screwdriver so you don't strip that out, so. Okay, slowly to start to turn that out. And then what I like to do is I wanna grab that because I wanna inspect it when it comes out of there. And also there should be a seal there. Okay, it looks pretty good, nice and clean. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the oil vent. We're gonna open that up and then that oil will really start flowing out of the lower unit. Okay, same thing there. You wanna get it loose with the screwdriver then grab it with your fingers and pull it out so you can inspect the, the seal as well as the plug. So you can see the oil drain out of there. All right, we can see that we have no more oil coming out. That means that we've removed all the gear lube from the lower unit. Now, before we go and fill this up, you always wanna look at your oil and you can see here, it's pretty clean. Uh, that means we don't have a leak. No water has gotten in through the seal around the prop or any place else. If you do have kind of milky looking oil, make sure you take it to an authorized Merck Cruiser dealer uh, and check that lower unit to make sure you're not getting any water into the, into the bottom. Now. The next thing is we need to trim down the lower unit and get it prepared, set up, so we can fill it up with the proper gear loop. We've got the lower unit back into position. We're gonna uh, fill it up with high performance gear lube. This happens to be at uh, 90 weight and uh, make sure you fill it to the proper level. This takes 64 ounces, so that's what we're gonna put in it. So next thing we're gonna do is go down here and get ready to fill the lower unit. Now, a couple things you wanna do uh, before you put the oil in. Up here, the vent, uh, oil vent, we wanna make sure that's open. You wanna check the seal on that, which is good. I'm gonna set that nut right there. Then we're gonna get the pump. Now you can buy this with the oil and then the pump kit. Uh, that comes with all the needed parts to it. And basically what you have is you have the pump here itself with the hose. This is the pickup tube that you put like this into the pump and that goes down into the bottle like such. Okay, we're gonna get that screwed on so we get a nice tight seal on it. Now we gotta get the oil from here into the lower unit and that's where this little adapter that actually screws into the lower unit drain hole plug uh, and we're going to screw that in there okay you can see it okay you want it just nice and snug you don't want to over tighten it it's just plastic so then the next thing you want to do now that we have that into the lower unit is i want to take the hose and slide that hose onto that adapter and now we're good to go. So this is 32 ounces in here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start operating that and you'll see the oil, as you can see there, starting to come out of the tube. And we're going to start to fill that lower unit up. And at any time you're dealing with oil, it can always be a little bit messy and greasy, obviously, but this minimizes the amount of gear lube that you may spill or, or have to deal with when you're doing a change of the lower unit gear lube. So we're gonna get 32 ounces in there. And once that's empty, I'm gonna take this oil vent screw, put that in here and I'm gonna tighten that up and that'll keep the oil from draining out. It's like putting your thumb over a straw that you put into water. That'll create a vacuum and keep that oil from coming out of that lower unit. So then I can change over to the second bottle and end up with 64 ounces of gear lube in that lower unit. Also, you can see here on the side of the, uh, the bottle, it kind of tells you where you're at with it. We've emptied the first 32 ounces. Now what I want to do is take the oil vent screw, put that back in the oil vent, and I'm going to tighten that back up, kind of create a vacuum so I don't have to worry about oil coming out of that lower unit at all. Now I'm going to take the second one, I'm going to take the seal off it. Okay, get that off. Now what we want to do is remove the oil pump. You can see that there. As you can see, nothing's coming out. I'm going to put that onto the second bottle. And the next thing you want to do is go back up here, open up that oil vent, and I'm going to take that out because what I want to see when I get to Knowing that the lower unit is full, oil should be coming out of this hole, uh, indicating we have the lower unit full of oil. Oh, okay. You can see the oil starting to come out there. That's what you want, kind of coming out. So there's no air in that. I'm going to seal that up. My thumb. Okay, now that we have the lower unit on the stern drive full of gear lube, we're gonna go up here in the boat, which I'm sitting looking at the gear lube monitor, okay? Uh, so what we wanna do is remove the cap, look inside there, see what the oil level is, and you've got a oil or a gear lube indicator on the side, so we wanna fill it up to the full position. So I'll go back. It's nice to have two people to do this, or stop periodically and look to see what the level is at and fill that uh, monitor bottle back up with gear lube. Once you get in the monitor full of gear lube, you wanna take the pump off and then get that drain plug back in. That's probably the messiest part of this whole process. You'll get some oil that'll come back out but that's why you want to fill that monitor full. We're going to tighten that plug up. Okay, we, I got that drain plug screw in there. Now we want to get in here and tighten that baby up nice and tight. We'll trim the lower unit up, make sure everything's nice and snug, and then making sure that the gear lube monitor has the appropriate amount of gear lube in it, and you're good to go. As you can see, if you have the proper tools, the proper gear lube, it's a simple and easy process to do it yourself and change the gear lube on the Merc Cruisers. Mm -hmm.